I feel like it's been a minute since I have been on camera just chatting to you guys. I wanted to give a little life update before we jump into the vlog. Mostly things are going good in LA. I feel like I'm finally getting settled into my place, into my life, into my routine. There was a minute there where I was just feeling so overwhelmed with life. Like everything was chaotic. I didn't know the direction I was going. I just wasn't feeling great about like feel, I just didn't feel organized. I think that was the big thing is I just felt very confused as to what direction I was going, what my responsibilities were. And I just felt like I had so much on my plate. As you'll see in this uh, vlog, there's this, a moment where I'm putting away my bed and you hear in the background, I'm actually listening to an audiobook on boundaries. And um, I think that's something that I've learned in the past few months. I listened to an audiobook attachment style and then that led me to this book that is about boundaries. And it's something that I need to work on in my personal relationships, in my future romantic relationships. But just like setting boundaries and parameters for myself and my loved ones is gonna help me a lot to feel a little bit better about about being secure in my current situation and like where i'm supposed to be what i'm supposed to be doing all that jazz that being said let's get to the vlog i'm gonna be doing a little bit of narration but let's hop in okay it's like 3 p.m in the afternoon i'm about to get ready and go down to marina del rey i am booked to shoot photos for an event tonight it's gonna be like a little tiki boat oh, i ended up shooting for this social club and meeting these amazing girls. They were so sweet. They literally walked me to my car at the end of the night because they were like worried about my safety and it wasn't even a sketchy area. They were just like genuine sweet people. But then after shooting this event, which was so cool in Marina Del Rey, I was so hungry. So I stopped at Taco Bell because my friend Courtney is a vegetarian and she can't try this particular item at Taco Bell because it has meat in it, but she's like <laughs> kind of a Taco Bell fan. And you guys are so cute. I'm so happy for both of you. Courtney FaceTimed us. She had been drinking a little bit. She loves to FaceTime us when she like gets back from going out, which is so cute. But Olivia and her husband are married. You're going to hear him talk here in a second, which is so cute. Like he is just so sweet and genuine. And the fact that he even said this, like I do not remember him being grumpy at all. It was just late at night and we made him come inside and hang out with us. Susie, the only time I've seen you in person in the last six months is when I was grumpy. When were you grumpy? It's like I've been you in so long and like here I am like begrudgingly picking up my wife at like two in the oh morning. Oh my gosh. And like it's my no. you grumpy. You were not grumpy. You were so fine. We were we were drunk. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> it was that Susie is trying the dipping taco. Yeah, we oh, there to. we go. There we go. Hot. Hot take. Hot take. What's is she hot filming take? this? Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you dip it in both sauces? I did both sauces. It's good. Matt James and Rachel Kirkconnell did not it's steer Shakira, us from Shakira. your first bite on film. No, it's I'm literally filming with my camera over there, and you guys are the great, I the best audio. I'm helping you make this a better bite for you. Talk about yeah. Please sponsor. <laughs> I feel like my apartment gets so messy so quick and then I just have to like I'm such an extreme person It goes from like really messy to really clean pretty frequently got my water We're going to berries and look at my cute little water boy hat. Uh, they sent this to me. I'm obsessed. I love it And yeah, I'm ready to work out. I just got back from berries Out of a wind doing a little Sunday refresh. It looks rough I got to put my bed away put all this clutter away. I worked last night a photo gig broke down some boxes so I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Here we go. Before I go any further in my day, I'm gonna shower clean and fresh, and then we're gonna address the apartment. Waiting if I'm gonna put on makeup or not today. Been on a real hair health kick lately, so I've been doing like oil in my hair. This is just almond oil. The only thing that I scanned that was like an oil for your scalp that had like no toxins in it. And so I'm like, well, we'll give it a try my hair today to do a hair check-in. I am consistently being neutral. I've been kind of off and on it for the past two years. Done it for like three months at a time and then taking a break, but I am committing to taking it daily a few months. So this is my first hair check-in. I just got it cut and colored, so it's super fresh. It may not look as fresh when I do this second video. <laughs> Heading into the vlog right now because Justin, I'm editing this video and I really thought I did something. Like, look, she looks good, right? She looks good. And then I had no idea. Wait for me to turn around. 
I'm like, she's straight. She's straightened it. Right. And then I did a turn, and then look. <laughs> Not this speed bump. <laughs> This is one product I love from CeraVe. Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. Obviously vitamin C is just so good for your skin. It gives me a real like dewy, glowy look. I tried these. Shameless Snacks. Red Raspberry Sour. These are so good. Not sponsored, but they did send them to me. If you can't get into Smart Sweets, try these. But if you eat too many, your stomach will hurt. So be careful. I like them when I want like a little treat. Always bend it is on up. Whatever you thought about it. Moment. Seize the minute of your life in Ben Feldman and the man as a potential suitor when he shows interest in them. And that's exactly Clearly, um, I'm here for an appointment. I don't know why you were late as the client. I expect you to respect my time. It's just funny you say that because you literally came in here. I even brought you no, a spin drink. Don't try to spin this on me. I came in here mm. ready to work. What will you be doing to me today? Stuff. I'm going to be threading your eyebrows. So my eyebrows need threading. I would say they need something. What other work do I need then? Uh, masseter Botox. What does that do? To work with your jawline. If you want it just like to elevate your look a little bit. So my jawline's trash? Yeah, chin implants. So that's something that you want to... What's wrong with my chin? I mean, nothing's wrong with it per se, but if you want to... Yeah, if, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cheek filler, for sure. So basically my entire facial we're gonna, structure we're gonna is ass. your eyelids, yes. And then if you want, we can do a facelift. Other than that, like, you have a great base to start with, so other than those five minor procedures, like, I feel good about it. Um, you've got your credentials on you, or? No, um, I work at Ulta, so <laughs> <laughs> I... Always we end up roasting each other. The hard part about it is that Justin is so quick-witted. Like, he outwits me all the time, and it's really hard because... I hope it's not a sign of intellect, because maybe it is. I really hope not, but I've always thought that people that were funny or witty are like highly intelligent and I've always thought of myself as pretty witty and funny, but um, Justin outwits me every time like he's so quick on his feet Maybe I'm just like rusty and I'm like out of practice, you know, thank you for watching I appreciate you just being here and hopefully you guys tune in on Thursday